All right, we're going to be painting Christmas puddings. I've got my watercolor brush, my cloth, my paper, my uh, trays of paints that you'll find in my watercolor kits, two jars of water, one for cool colors and one for warm colors. And I'm going to start off with a really quite dark and deep brown. So I'm activating my paint with water on my brush, diluting it a little in my jar of paint and dabbing off the excess. And I'm going to create the bottom half of the pudding. So I'm using some quite big sweeping brush strokes, grabbing a bit more paint. And you'll see that I'm going to leave sort of a, I don't really know what the shape is, but a curved sort of line on the top of the pudding because I'm going to be adding in the icing in a moment. So at the moment, I'm just focusing on the base of the pudding, trying to get the bottom of it looking lovely and round, and the top will have that curved look to it. Okay, there we go. We have the bottom of the pudding, dabbing in a little, little bit more brown paint along the bottom to add a bit of a shadow kind of effect. Just dabbing that into the wet paint using wet on wet technique, rinsing my brush and then I'm going to grab some of this, what was it, beige? <laughs> I've already forgotten. Okay, so I'm grabbing some beige color and I'm again going to dilute that. Now, I'm working with lots of wet paint at the moment, so I run the risk of the colors bleeding into each other. So I'm gonna start up the top with my icing and I'm actually being conscious and careful not to let two colors touch because once they do and I'm sure they will at some point when I make a little bit of a mistake once they do the colors will bleed into each other and we'll end up with a bit of a mess but that's okay too and I actually think that that looks too neat and tidy after all so I'm going to deliberately let the colors touch and see what happens okay so there we have our pudding with our icing it looks a little bit sad and a little bit boring, so I'm going to add some holly, which I actually need to grab my red tray of paint. As always, super duper prepared. So I'm grabbing some red paint on the tip of my brush, and I'm getting it really concentrated and just dabbing off any excess, and I'm not diluting this paint. So I'm going to add my berries for the holly on the top. And again, as I said before, if the colors do tap each other like if this red color taps this beige color you will end up with the paint bleeding which I'm actually going to deliberately do now just to add a bit more depth and variety and interest and all that good stuff but I just really need you to be aware of it just in case that happens to you and you don't know what's about to happen with the colors bleeding and it'll be quite a rude shock all right, so now I'm going to grab some green and I'll just grab a really super bright green. And I've diluted it slightly as I did before and I'm just going to do some sort of swooping brush strokes to create the leaves of the holly. I'm going to dab in a little bit more green at the bottom to make it a bit more interesting, possibly too much, and now that's bled right, right into the berries. But that's okay, I'm working really loosely and having lots of fun with it. And here we go. There we have our awesome, very cute Christmas pudding. Mm -hmm. 